This home has panoramic views of the golf course, Pacific Ocean, and Catalina Island. This property offers you a rare opportunity to live the SoCal lifestyle within easy walking distance of the world-class Terranea Resort. A fun fact about Rancho Palos Verdes is that it's home to Terranea Resort. Terranea Resort is a hidden gem on the Los Angeles coast. This 102-acre luxury Southern California resort destination is surrounded by tranquil waves and offers dining, spa services, golfing, events, and more. One of the guiding principles in the creation of Terranea was to weave it into the cultural, historical, and social fabric of the peninsula. Hello everyone, my name is Sierra Schatz with Remax Envision and Sherman Oaks and welcome to our channel, Let's Just Locations. Today we are at 21 Nantasket Drive in Rancho Palos Verdes. This property has five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, 5,251 square feet of living space and sits on a lot over 15,600 square feet. So first and foremost, we'd love to thank the listing agent, Trisha Rappaport at Remax Estate Properties for allowing us to tour her beautiful new construction listing. So let's go check it out. So one of the first things I want to point out is this house is a contemporary Spanish style. You have a clay tile roof, you have wood garage doors, you have a flagstone, natural flagstone walkway and house siding. You have copper metallic flower pots with kangaroo paw flowers. And you have a modern, two modern outdoor sconces. This is a beautiful large archway to your walnut four by eight front door. So let's go inside. So as we come in, we are in the landing area. You are stepping on oak floors with a matte finish. I noticed the beautiful arches. You can see different views through your arches. You have a 14 foot vaulted ceiling with recessed lighting. And to the right, you have your formal dining room. You have a globe candle pendant light and you have some storage space right here with drift oak and quartz countertops. And I also love what they did with this space. They utilized uh, the space and put artwork here. You could put a big piece of artwork or a bunch of different types, but I love what they did. You will come past your formal dining room into your entry level powder room. So we're heading into your powder room on the main level. And before we head there, this is your laundry chute. So if you're being lazy, you just want to drop your laundry down. Perfect. You have a traditional vanity with a circular mirror, and I love this cool pendant light. This is known as a Sputnik pendant light. Uh, very cool. You have a leathered granite countertop, which means it's not smooth, but it has a little bit more texture, and you have recessed lighting. From here, we will head down the hall, past some storage, and into what is your first bedroom. So your first bedroom is staged as a guest room or maybe a child's room. You have a unique light fixture, sliding wood closet doors, the same wood floors, and in this bathroom, you have some offset subway tile design in your shower. You have a quartzite countertop with a traditional vanity, a contemporary light fixture, and a tile floor design. We will head through the bedroom, which could also be an office. And 
This is the brains of the house. It is also a Cat 6 house, meaning you have special hardwiring hookups. You also have a generator panel. So in case your power goes out, your generator can kick on, and you also have Lutron lighting. So what's special about Lutron lighting is that your lighting can be on timers, but also you can set different programs. So say you want an entertainment program or a dining program. Once you set that program on your app, it could either dim the light for entertainment or dining and etc. And we are going to head into the garage, up your beautiful Spanish tile steps. And here is that garage shot that a few of you have asked for. This is a three car garage and you have epoxy flooring for your garage floor. So a lot of space <laughs> for the garage. We're going to come back into your landing area. And before we head into the primary bedroom, we're going to pass a little seating area where you can have an office or a children's study area. You have recessed lighting. This house is wired for sound, so you have speakers. And we are heading into the primary bedroom. And in this primary bedroom, you have this. The first thing I notice, and this is staging, but I think it's remarkable, is this mirror. Very unique, pretty cool, a lot of detail. You have a 14-foot vaulted ceiling with recessed lighting the same hardwood floors throughout the property. And you have a marble styled fireplace, uh, uh, contemporary linear fireplace, marble style floor to ceiling, and you can mount your TV right here. And this is another staging thing that I love, these turquoise nightstands. This, are, this is one of my favorite colors. You also have a private balcony. You can check that out through your sliding glass doors. And what's cool about the flooring out here is that it matches pretty well with the hardwood inside. However, it's just a tile design with the hardwood style. And another thing I love in this house, you will notice it in some of the other shots, is this corner window. Instead of putting, uh, or instead of having a solid wall, they decided to, you know, let you actually see your view of the ocean. <laughs> we are going to head into the primary bathroom under your archway. You have a tile floor design, recessed lighting. You have dual vanities, drop-in sinks. You have rift wood that matches a lot of the cabinetry throughout the house. You have quartz countertop, large mirror with contemporary sconces, and the quartz lines the mirror as well. You have a beautiful freestanding tub. I love this tub, and it is in a great area of the bathroom because you also have a view of the ocean through your corner windows. You have a large floor tub faucet, and then you have two heated towel racks. And you can set timers for these. So if you're going to hop in the shower, you could just turn your towel rack on, time it, and you come out and your towels are nice and warm. This is a large shower. You have a regular shower head and a handheld shower head. You have a marble de uh, style design on the wall, and you have marble tile flooring. And from here, we will head into the walk-in closet. This walk-in closet has the same tile flooring design. You have what is called a peninsula island, meaning that it's attached to the wall, it's sticking out. This is the same ripped wood countertop. You have shoe racks, recessed lighting. And what I love, sorry, I know I'm yelling. <laughs> what I love about this walk-in closet is that you also have a separate washer and dryer hookup. So you don't want to walk downstairs, do you know your friend, family's laundry. You can do your own laundry up here. So let's head into the kitchen area. We are going to head into the butler's pantry before we reach the actual kitchen. And here you have more pantry space, storage. You have quartz countertop, a view of Terranea golf course. And behind Safi, please move, you <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sophie and I are good friends. You have quartz countertop, you have glass tile backsplash, a sink, a Zephyr beverage fridge, and a Thermidor microwave. And you have, this is a closed off section, <laughs> you have a pocket door, boop, where, as I said, you can close it off. Recess lighting, and here is the kitchen.
has a lot of space, soft clothes cabinets and drawers. You have your inconspicuous large fridge and freezer. This is 24 inches and your fridge is 36 inches. What a paneling. And you have one of my favorite features that I have mentioned before is your built-in coffee maker. Thermador stainless steel. My excuse for a lot of coffee is it's good for your heart. You have a large island. It looks like you can fit four stools. You have two separate um, types of counters. You have what would essentially be your cutting board and quartz countertop. Two pendant lights above your island. A porcelain farm sink. And this kitchen has two dishwashers. One on each side. You have a six burner range with a griddle. Thermador stainless steel. Two ovens. Quartz countertop with quartz backsplash and also a tile, beautiful tile backsplash. And you have a Thermador stainless steel oven. Stainless steel steam oven. I have not seen that before. You also have vaulted wood beam ceiling with recessed light, pre-wired for sound. And how could I miss these floor to ceiling sliding glass disappearing doors? So they're called disappearing doors because if you slide them all the way at the end, you can, ow, my finger. <laughs> you can see that they disappear into the wall. We are going to head back inside in a family area. So you can mount your TV above your fireplace and this is the same glass tile design that is in your kitchen. You have some built-in storage here and one thing that I love that is somewhat of a minor detail is this laser cut cabinet design. It's see-through and I don't know, I think it's pretty special. It's pretty cute. <laughs> you have quartz countertops, a pass-through window, a bar on the other side we will get there and you have some built-in shelves so you can stick your books or other things like your sculptures like they did in this staging. So we will come around. And another thing I love about this section of the house is the other section, it was a little more closed off, less arches because you have a bedroom back there, etc. This one's open. You have a bunch of arches so you can see the views through uh, from your kitchen. We are in the bar area. So you have a beverage fridge here. This is the same rift oak cabinetry that is in other areas of the house. Quartz countertops, built-in shelves with the strip LED lighting. And you have a sink. And one of the things I love about this uh, family living area is the wood beamed vaulted ceiling. I love this. It's beautiful. Um, you are in your second living area. And this is closed off but you have a very large window, a view of your front yard. You also have recessed lighting, wired for sound, TV mount, above your beautiful fireplace with your tile design that matches these steps on the way to the garage. The same hardwood floors. And in front of me, you have the same, uh, the same window with the view of Terranea Golf Course. That is the same window that has the view of the front yard. And we will come through your floor to ceiling, folding sliding glass doors onto your very large wraparound deck. And this wraparound deck, I'm pointing out again, is, has flooring that matches the inside. However, it's a different material. You have a wrought iron railing, a view of your beautiful pool, backyard, as I mentioned, the Terranea golf course. And on days where it's sunny enough, if you look straight ahead, you can see Catalina. Right now you can't, but you usually can see Catalina. And I also want to point out how large this deck is. If I, when I build my own house, I want to have a large, large wraparound deck just like this. Uh, great for entertaining, as I always say. You have two staircases you can get down to your backyard. And you can enter your deck through your kitchen. You have contemporary outdoor sconces. And we will head down to the backyard. We are heading to the backyard. And first thing I want to point out about the backyard 
is this beautiful pool. It has an automatic pool cover and it has is lined with tile. And funny enough, when I drove up to this house, the pool guy was walking over talking to the agent and turns out to be my friend, Sean Quinn. So Sean, here's your shout out. <laughs> Sean and I are friends and he builds pools. So as far as I know, I'm almost positive that he is building all the pools for these new houses. And we want to also point out this lush lawn, which is great for kids, pets, just yourself. There's a lot of space here. And we will head into what is another entertainment family area. You have those contemporary sconces. And before we head into the family area, this area itself is great for entertaining. Transition from inside to outside. You have four ceiling mounted heaters, recessed lighting wired for sound. You also have some storage over here. And you have what you are looking at. The sliding disappearing glass doors are in the wall right now, but this entire corner right here is a glass sliding door. This is another thing I want to have in my house that I build. And the sliding glass door, as you can see, it lets, on, lets in copious amounts of sunlight. So imagine sitting here, enjoying your dinner, breakfast, while it's either raining during the winter time or during the summer, and it's nice and warm, and you can see people hanging out by the pool. So another section of this downstairs is the kitchenette. And this kitchenette has a fridge, freezer, a speed oven, where it cooks, microwaves, bakes, quartz countertops. You have an offset marble subway tile design with beveled edges, sink, and a dishwasher. And earlier, Safi and I were playing a little game, and the terms were, okay, would you rather live upstairs, no access to downstairs, or downstairs, no access to upstairs? And me, being someone who already saw the entire house, I chose, I was smart, and I chose downstairs, and Safi chose upstairs, not knowing what the downstairs had. And he ended up being very jealous. He didn't choose the downstairs, so I'm keeping downstairs. Safi, you're upstairs and the downstairs included the pool and the backyard too. So anyway, <laughs> this is another family area and one thing I wanna point out is the house, the layout of the house is very well designed. A lot of the times you are in a house and you're like, okay, I can't mount my TV there because I have this random window here. I mean, you can, but it just doesn't make, make as much sense. What I love about this house is um, just the layout, as I said, the layout. And if you take note of this couch, you can see that is perfectly shaped along your staircase and your wall, along with a lot of these sections of the property. So this living area, family living area, you have a upper window, lets in that good amount of sunlight. You have a traditional herringbone tile design. On your fireplace, a wood mantle, TV mount, as you can see. Your stairs are wrought iron railing, 180 degree turn staircase. A lot of space here, very high ceiling all the way down from here. And we will head down the hall into the additional bedrooms. More storage. To your right, you have another powder room. I love this artwork. It resonates with me. I think it's cute. You have the rift wood traditional vanity, this contemporary mirror, modern sconce, granite countertop. And the, woods throughout, uh, the doors throughout the property are custom made wood doors. Here is what is staged as a little girl's room. You have custom built in shelving for a uh, Good sized child's walk-in closet. Recess lighting, another corner window where you have a view of the backyard. And this little area is where your child could set up their homework, do their homework, work on their projects. And you have your ensuite bathroom. Corner vanity, I love this vanity light fixture. A nice sized uh, mirror. 
You have a unique towel design that Safi really liked. Circular towel design on the floor. You have your own access through your sliding glass door to your backyard. And then we have another room, storage. Another room, well not just another room, you have your laundry room. <laughs> I like this laundry room. This laundry room is very cute. You have the offset subway tile design again, your laundry chute, sink, quartz countertop, space you can hang your clothes to dry, recessed lighting, tile floor design, some additional space here, and they also made it what could be a craft room or an office or just an area for more, uh, more of your clothes to maybe fold, set down. Soft closed drawers, cabinets, and I want to point out this hallway, beautiful hallway. You have these uh, light fixtures and this, in general, this archway. So when you're walking down it, you feel kind of like, oh, <laughs> I'm in a movie. Um, please don't put that in. <laughs> you are going to come what is staged as another bedroom. Could be another child's room, um, family in law suite. You have sliding wood closet doors, recessed lighting, and it's another ensuite. And you have access through this little door to the backyard. And this is one of my favorite tile designs, this um, diamond tile design in the shower. It's dark, but I don't know. I, I really liked it. Different blues in the tile design. Quartz countertop, counter, counter uh, corner vanity. Porcelain tile design in the bathroom, tile design in the shower. And these are the same oak wood floors throughout the property. We have our last bedroom, which is staged as a boy's room. Recessed lighting, sliding wood closet doors. And you have another ensuite. And this is one of my favorite tile designs in the bathroom. I thought it was pretty cute how it just came up halfway and it's an assortment of different styles. Corner vanity, quartz countertop, and a larger offset subway tile design in the shower. And lastly, we have your insulated home theater. And you can put a screen here, they put a large TV, but if you check out the online photos, it shows you what it would look like with the screen. Uh, this is the same rift wood throughout the property. You have more storage. You have recessed lighting. This is wired for sound, for surround sound. And what I thought was smart about this room is instead of putting theater carpet and if you were to resell the house or you know decide you didn't want to utilize the home theater, you could just have the hardwood floors match with the remainder of the house. So you can keep the seating, change the seating. I would definitely have a popcorn machine in here. And then you could sit back, watch your TV shows, your movies, or play video games, as Safi talked about. So that concludes our tour. Thank you again for watching. I'm Sear Shots with Remax and Vision in Sherman Oaks. And we would just love to say thank you to those who have been showing us support on our other videos. If you are new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe. It helps with our YouTube algorithm. And we will catch you on the next one. stop <laughs> what? well you're, I don't know, what you gonna put that in there this house is panoramic views of the golf course <laughs>
Okay. I can't look at you. Yeah, I can't wait. Because <laughs> you start going like this. You're like this. And then you just start smiling. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> now you're like... <laughs>